Hey guys, uh, Thomas here. How you guys doing? Doing fine. Uh, so today is in just mid July, we're in the dog days of summer. Uh, yesterday was 98 degrees. Today is set to do 98 degrees. So, just a few minutes ago, I was watching Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in July, yeah. One of my favorites. Uh, so, I was uh, reminiscing. So, and it's being in July and it's, it's hot. One of my favorite places to go uh, is Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a great place, especially in the summertime. Uh, gambling, but I do a lot of people, people watching also. So, it's uh, one of my vacation places that I like to visit from time to time. I have been there in uh, about maybe two years. Uh, but uh, it's a great place. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do a story. Usually it's a, a berry story, but this is a story... In, um, that um, involves a scam, one of the Vegas scams. You talk about Las Vegas scams, well, they have scams. Well, one scam that me and my nephew, well, it wasn't me, my nephews, uh, Charlie and Pooh, um, Charlie's uh, deceased. He went on to be with the Lord back in uh, uh, 2021, uh, 2020, uh, because of the coof. But be that as it may, so he he can't defend himself. But um, I'm going to tell you the story, and you just have to decide. Um, maybe later on I'll get Pooh on, so he, he can talk about his side of the story uh, and his his take on it is very humorous. Uh, first thing, I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Um, in, the, in the description, please um, look out for my affiliate links. Also. Uh, my um, help, help if you can give me some couple spare change if you enjoy the content. I do have my uh, uh, contact list also, so drop me a line and tell me how you guys are doing and, and if you've ever been scammed also in, in Las Vegas. So, hope be that as it may. Well, this story takes place in about uh, 2007, 2008, I believe. 2008. Um, we were staying at the Stratosphere Hotel, which is the tallest uh, tallest hotel on the Strip. It's on the on the um, Strip, leading towards uh, the downtown. Uh, so if you if you're going towards uh, Fremont Street, you're gonna pass right by. But uh, that's where we usually stay at because the stratosphere it's it's kind of away from everybody but you're still close to everybody and you're not down where all the all the hubbub is at so but you but you're also in the hood too <laughs> uh yeah so you're in the hood so you might find some people who are less than honest and it's right up the street from the pawn stars uh tv show so anyway um so we were going to go hang out. We were going to go to uh, chill out. We were going to go to uh, see some various things. We are going to go to the, uh, the Star Trek uh, bar when it was open. So we're talking about maybe 2008. So we are going to go to Star Trek and look at the memorabilia. So, so we had a set time to leave. So I told, told the guys, I said, look, I'm going to go downstairs and get the car from the valet. And I'll meet you guys downstairs. And they said, okay. So I went downstairs. Um, had to wait, got my valet, gave the guy a couple dollars, boom, boom, boom. Um, got the engine on, I'm ready to hit the streets. And then I said, well, it's been like almost 20 minutes. I said, it don't, usually don't take them that, this much time to get downstairs. So I, I, I called Charlie. I said, Charlie, I'm waiting on you guys. Come on, let's go. I want to get started, you know, before it gets hot. Charlie said, uh, 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 uh. I'm doing something right now. Uh, I, I'll call you back. I said, what the f Was he on the toilet or something? I don't understand. So I said, oh, okay, all right, I'm going to show. I know Pooh's coming. So I know he's going to be on the way. And no, Charlie, he, he gold bricks a lot. Uh, it's kind of like pulling teeth with him. So he likes to drag his butt. So I said, okay, I'm going to wait a couple minutes. So, all right, another 10 minutes go by. I said, you know, what's going on? You know, you, uh, you know, I need to get started. So, call Charlie again. I said, Charlie, what's going on, man? I want to go. I, I thought you were on your way. I, I, I'm still in the middle of something. I'll call you back. Okay. All right. Got a little testy with me, but I said, okay. 
So I called Pooh. Uh, Pooh's my, my nephew. He's my. Uh, so anyway, I called him. I said, Pooh, uh, where the hell is Charlie at? Uh, he said that he was going to be on his way. He might be, you know, around down by McDonald's someplace. Uh, so just go get him and round him up. Tell him to bring his behind downstairs because I want to get started. So I said, no problem, TJ, no problem. So we take off. He takes off. So another 10 minutes go by. I said, and I called Pooh. I said, Pooh, what the hell is going on? What's, what's taking you so long? All right, this is what's going on. Okay. Uh, Charlie's in the middle of of a transaction with this guy he saw and it's involving some computers uh there's some type of computer which is called a ferrari computer i've never seen one i don't know anything about them uh, but i heard that at the time they were the fastest computers you can get um, they were like the top of the line you're talking like an apple plus <laughs> so uh so charlie was involved with negotiating with dude about these computers so, and I'm I'm thinking, a computer around here? How's he gonna t t get that stuff on the airplane and come back all the way across town? I mean, across across the country. We're in Vegas. We go back to Maryland. And uh, they talk about six hours. I said, what the heck's he thinking about? I said, look, Pooh, tell Charlie to get his butt downstairs. I didn't say butt though. To get his butt downstairs. Don't buy anything. Don't buy anything and come on, let's go. All right, Pooh TJ. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So, long story short, 20 minutes go by. So, finally, Pooh and Charlie come downstairs. I said, What the hell's going on with you guys? I want to get started. Well, we got involved in this, this transaction, so uh, we were trying to, you know, negotiate, and then we, then we finally got the negotiation, so we got the computers. Okay, all right, so I said, okay, what the hell, okay. So we drive off. So I said, okay, Charlie. Drove around, took off. So he started to, I said, well, well Charlie, uh, I know we're about to go out, so I want to see what these computers look like. He said, yeah, that's the Pooh said, yeah, yeah, I don't know what they look like, too. So they unwrap it, and if you if you're old enough to know, back in the day they used to get these discs, for AOL AOL disc, and they would have them packaged with the computers because so you can get America Online. That's before you get Wi-Fi, and you could log into the internet. Well, they had these little discs, and they were everywhere. So they were outside of the package. The package was wrapped up real tight. So okay, I said Charlie, we'll get here's a knife. Um, open it up. So as soon as you open it up, there were two half cut two half cut telephone books and some desk. There was no computer in there at all. There were four half cut telephone books for the weight and two desk. Charlie and Pooh were out six hundred and fifty dollars because of this and i'm 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 looking at that charlie was stunned <laughs> he talking about that <laughs> he's talking about somebody who was who was jaw dropped <laughs> his jaw was like <sighs> and they had no computer but they got the guy got the money and we can't go back because dude's in the wind he said i got these two fools I know he, Charlie was a man, and he, he never lived it down, and so I was talking, I said, well, I said, Pooh, what, what, what happened? Well, he said, well, this is what happened. Well, I, I told Charlie, come on, let's go, let's go, but Charlie was in the middle of talking, so, and then Charlie, when he gets excited, he gets this look, so he's like, come on, man, come on, come on, he always give you the elbow, come on, let's do this, do this, so he started thinking before the process happened, because the guy already got him already, but Pooh, He's more streetwise. He's like, okay, well, and, and, and Pooh said, uh, let me see the computer. And the guy said, no, 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 no. I don't want to open it up because then you you, rip the, you, you mess up the, the, the framing or something like that. So he phrases some kind of way to, to pass it off so that you couldn't see it. Because if you, if you get inside and see what you say, he's like, oh, there's some bull crap. So they couldn't do it. So so what what Charlie did, what Charlie didn't tell Pooh is that originally they had, the price was already set at, at 1300 for the two computers, but then he 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 brought it down 
uh, to six hundred dollars to three hundred dollars each for for the, for the computers. And see, Pooh didn't know that because had he known that they started at thousand and six hundred, said there's you know there's no way you're gonna sell two brand new computers for a thousand dollars. Now you're gonna break it down to six hundred. There's no way. So when we opened it up, it was just two um, phone books cut in half in the computer and the disc, and that was it. We tossed them out. <laughs> now you can do I ain't bringing that back home. <laughs> and Charlie, you know, he was tapped out. That was his last money. He was done. And then uh, Pooh, he had like maybe like maybe about maybe fifty dollars left. He was going to get this. He was going to get a, a watch, but he had two hundred. And, and Ch Charlie said he promised to pay him the two hundred dollars for this because he had four hundred. So he promised to pay Pooh back his two hundred dollars. Pooh never got the money back, of course. And then Charlie lost his four hundred. So, you know, <laughs> it was sad. So, fast forward about maybe four years. Uh, me and Pooh, we were up in Atlantic City, and we were just driving around Atlantic City, and we saw uh, the same scam. Somebody had did the same thing to somebody, and had telephone books, had to, had to tape up with the computer desk, and we immediately saw, and we started laughing at each other, and said, oh my God, oh my God. So, so I'm not sure they're doing stick scams like that, though, but... When you're in Vegas, um, you know, just gotta you just keep your head on the swivel. I mean, you you are uh, you can be a victim of anything. Okay, so just be safe out there. Um, I used to be uh, when I go out there, um, I used to stay pretty close to where I need to be at, and uh, just be safe. Uh, so, I mean, I'm from the hood, but still stuff can still break off. I live in Baltimore, so. I'm already aware of, I'm not going to go in there, la, 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 not knowing that stuff can break out. So just be careful of your money and be, and be cautious of, of your surroundings. So, and don't bring a whole lot of money out, believe me. You, know, you got cards now, but you got to be secure. So anyway, hopefully these tips help somebody, you know, and we can talk more about security tips uh, that I've had on, on my travel. So anyway. Uh, drop me a line if you guys have any questions or, you know, I, I, I'd like to hear uh, which, which you've been scammed for. <laughs> you got a smiling face here. I had a birthday, so um, those are my balloons for my birthday. So they, they, they're checking up on me, make sure I'm doing my thing right. So anyway, you guys have a great day. And um, uh, just check me out again. Thank you for following the link. Thank you for, in, 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 for listening to me. So you guys take care.